I just put up this video about how Bob Hartley's own son, Jedediah Hartley, has exposed his father as a complete fraud who was using numerous tricks to fool people into thinking he was getting information directly from God. When I would press him on these inconsistencies, he would become violently angry. But this was just the beginning of things turning sour as, during this time, I also was traveling and ministering with him, and this is where I fully got to see his prophetic gift on full display. We would travel to churches, home groups, youth groups, etc., and before each meeting my dad would speak with leaders of the group and ask for names of the congregants so he could pray over them before we would minister to the group. Once we had the list of names, he would mine Google, Facebook, or even the church directory to get specific details about their life, phone numbers, addresses, random facts, etc. I caught him doing this on several occasions. So in that same video, I referred to my video from last year that shows both Sean Boltz and Chris Reed doing the same sort of trick using information as they actually look at their tablets and get email addresses, phone numbers, and things like that. And I've had a number of comments from people who say, no, Chris Reed is the real deal. Bob Hartley might be a fake prophet, but not Chris Reed. Well, let's look at the last part of the video I made that most of these people never bothered to watch, and you'll see how terrible a prophet he really is. Here's a summary of all his predictions. In 2022, 2023, we're going to really begin to see these things unfold. And I've had a few confirmations of this dream since then. In 2022, 2023, we're going to really begin to see these things unfold. And I've had a few confirmations of this dream since then. These are all the things that were going to happen in 2022, 23, according to Chris Reed and the dream that he got from God. It's like he was having a contest to see how wrong he could possibly be. You remember that major earthquake that hit the middle of the U.S.? Yeah, neither do I. And just like Benny Hinn, he didn't predict the war in Israel. He didn't predict that Hamas would attack Israel. He said that there would be a two-state solution between Israel and Palestine. Yeah, that didn't happen. Do you remember when we got that new currency and the U.S. military took over? Do you remember when all those states started seceding from the nation? Yeah, neither do I. This is just guesswork. And the purpose of the guesswork is to prop up the prophet. This has nothing to do with exalting Christ or leading people to God. Okay, now let's go back to April of the year 2022 and listen to Chris Reed explain his incredibly useless prophetic dream. I'm sure it's just a coincidence, but this was posted on April Fool's Day of the year 2022. And it's a whole series of predictions about what was going to be taking place very soon. In fact, near the end of the video, Chris says this. In 2022, 2023, we're going to really begin to see these things unfold. And I've had a few confirmations of this dream since then. Well, I'm making this video right now at the end of August in the year 2023. So he's basically got about four months for some of these things to begin happening. I'm not going to play the whole 11 minute video because there's a number of things he says that are kind of just filler, but I'm going to edit this so that you hear the predictions themselves because there are a number of predictions he makes. Well, I have something really, really important to share with you today. I've shared it with our team here and um, shared it with a few others, but I believe I had probably one of the most vivid, detailed dreams that I believe is from the Lord uh, regarding an unfolding of events from this point forward. So I want to share this with you, and I pray that you'll consider sharing this with your friends, telling other people about this, because I believe this is a dream from the Lord and is something that we really need to take heed as a warning to prepare. I had this dream on early morning, March 25th, 2022. And in the dream, I saw a unknown man who was dressed in a black suit and he held a $50 US bill in his hand. And the dream consisted of him tearing the $50 bill in three different stages. And after each stage, I was handed uh, by random people who came up to me to hand me newspapers, national newspapers here in the United States with various unique headlines. So. He stands in front of me and he takes the $50 bill and the first tear, he tears off one third of the $50 bill. And when he did, this is when people started coming up to me, bringing me national newspapers, one right after the other with headlines that I could all read and were very vivid in my memory. And as soon as, of course, I woke up, I, I wrote this down. But the first one said, after he tore the $50 bill, one third off, the headline read this, the dollar drops 30% in value and a subtitle to the headline was Mideast Oil Strikes Deal with China Instead of the U.S. I then was given another headline which said, quote, The Perfect Storm, unquote, subtitled Inflation Reaches a New High. Another person came up to me and handed me another news headline which said, quote, Food Shortage Crisis 
as wheat and bread import, imports are at a stalemate, unquote. Another headline was then handed to me which said something like, quote, riots and civil unrest as citizens demand entitlement checks, unquote. Now, this was the only headline that I couldn't remember the exact wording of, but what I shared was close to it. Another person walked up to me and handed me a headline which read, quote, Israeli and Palestinian two-state solution reached, unquote. And then another person came up to me and gave me a headline which, hand, which said, quote, major earthquake hits the middle of the U.S., unquote. And then another person walks up to me and hands me another headline which read, quote, America in pieces, unquote. And it was subtitled as this, quote, more states secede from the nation in rebellion to the federal government. Another person came up and handed me a headline which said, quote, U.S. military takes charge as uncertainty looms over the federal government, unquote. Then the man dressed in the black suit took out a new dollar bill. It was not the $50 bill. It was a $1 U.S. bill. But what was interesting about it was in the dream, the $1 bill looked like a cell phone. It was a $1 bill, but it looked like a cell phone. I did see George Washington's face on it. And I remember looking at it and just studying it and was kind of pondering why this $1 bill looked like a cell phone. And when I am pondering this, another person comes up, hands me another uh, headline, and the newspaper headlines read, quote, new currency for a renewed nation, unquote. Another headline was handed to me and it said, quote, simplicity restored as Americans grow their own food again, unquote. Now, as I said, this is very vivid. I kind of want to just uh, cover some of the main points that I feel pretty solid as I've discussed it with my team. I feel like that we have at least in part a pretty good interpretation with their um, input. And of course, no one sees the whole picture. As the Bible says, we know in part and we prophesy in part. So I may have a part, another person may have a part, another person may have a part. When we put all the parts together, then you have a whole pie. Well, I believe that's how it is with the prophetic. I don't believe one person has the whole, but we all have our part. In 2022, 2023, we're going to really begin to see these things unfold. And I've had a few confirmations of this dream since then that I believe had to be the Lord confirming this as a prophetic dream. But as I thought about this dream and the events unfolding in this dream, I can't help believe that this is something we should take serious. The headlines themselves kind of speak for themselves. And it seems as if at the end, there was this release of this new currency or a digital currency that was different than the kind of currency we have now. But I think we more than ever need to be prepared. You know, go into the store. Each time you go, even if you just buy two or three extra canned goods, each time you go to the grocery store, I think there are simple measures that we can take because I believe we are coming upon a perfect storm as we see these events unfolding in the world. I don't believe America will be exempt from this. And I really think that we really need to be in prayer and preparation and warning people around us that although this will turn out to be successful, there's going to be some bumpy roads ahead. And I think more than ever, we need to have a prophetic perspective of current events around us. In 2022, 2023, we're going to really begin to see these things unfold. And I've had a few confirmations of this dream since then. In 2022, 2023, we're going to really begin to see these things unfold. And I've had a few confirmations of this dream since then. In 2022, 2023, we're going to really begin to see these things unfold. And I've had a few confirmations of this dream since then. Basta! Basta! Enough! Oh. I can't quite catch it.